This is Raw Rinse and Official, and today we are playing UFC 3. Uh, what if I went pro now? Uh, currently, has I have completed two title defences, and these names were, if I can remember, no ideas as number one contender with McGregor being behind. Now we check. Uh, Bobby Green and Tony Ferguson is the last two fighters I fought. Uh, <laughs> which was very interesting. Uh, and I beat Khabib, as you might have remembered from the one episode. Uh, uh, with Tyron Woodley, it will be a one, episode, uh, one fight episode once again. After my next two fights... My PlayStation needs to fucking sort its life out, I swear to god. Um, next fight we have, it is... The Notorious One, Conor McGregor. Now, he has been chatting a lot of shit to me. Uh, <laughs> during my rivalry with Khabib. I'm just like, will you shut the fuck up? Now, hang on a minute. Okay, he is 45 in 11, so he's lost hefty a lot and he's convinced that he can beat me he couldn't even beat Khabib and I got a move gyms, gyms now uh, meaning there will be a rivalry about that again more of the rivalries to come with the UFC uh, I can't even train there because of fucking Okay, I can maybe I can train in my uh, BJJ. So training for five weeks. Uh, is Woodley gonna be chatting shit to me today? Dana White tweeted. Uh, I guess not. So we're gonna start with the training, and let's get to it now. Okay, now we've already done it, and it's going to be a medium fight hype. I uh, didn't need to do a press conference for it. We're going to be fighting at Houston, Texas, in the United States, for UFC 287. Um, gold trunks again. Um, hopefully the press doesn't go on about with the training camps, considering McGregor's on the fucking top level for it. Um... It's funny that the uh, fucking, the, what do you call it, <coughs> the um, fight records McGregor has, that's if, if he continued to fight. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. When the UFC lightweight champion won his belt, no one knew what to expect from the fighter with the exciting style and unyielding confidence. Yet since that memorable title winning night, he has successfully defended the belt multiple times and he shows no signs of slowing down as his next title defense approaches. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup Very for the UFC lightweight um, division title. Obviously, didn't mention about a rivalry, but anyway. Live in Houston, Texas. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of... I do not, to, to be fair, I do not like John Anik when it comes to UFC right, games. I prefer, I do prefer world. Mike Goldberg, but obviously with the stupid back. shit going on, on with the UFC itself, so, you know, I think it's a bit ridiculous for him to be fucking let go. 
as the challenges get stiffer. Plus the fact and that um, not even mentioning about it, so it's, it's just fucking disgraceful that one. I know he's in Bellator now, but Bellator hasn't got a game himself, so who knows then. So, with the fucking PlayStation, calm the fight down. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Gear is Bruce never Bob. done that when it came to the fucking game itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a kickboxer! Holding a professional record on 45 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Island, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now, introducing the champion, fighting! This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Oh, this is going to be fucking good, lads. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Uh, is then they're going to be touching gloves? That's the question. This has been oh. one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a okay, long then. time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. So close. That one hurts. Oh! oh. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, oh. He's got him hurt here. There's a nice inside oh. kick. Oh, oh fuck off. That's not over. That is not over. Fuck all right off. Nah. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's Bullshit. the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout. Near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponent saw that. Okay, see what I mean by really no, uh, why I don't like John Anik, because he's, it's just a reaction after the fight. Strike, because it's not like Mike so Goldberg, it is all over, you know time. what I mean? Let's take a look at that again. That's what I missed about UFC. Let's see that again. Uh, okay. Because UFC 2 had and more a bit of, more atmospheric uh, commentary. Joe Rogan, he's fine. And there is the UFC John Anik, champion. He not is so be much. A hard guy to buck off the throne, getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish! Nah, that, I'm on the sorry, but <laughs> Jesus, I'm I'm fucking OP. 46, seconds of the very first round. 46 fucking Nora. I still think I, don't, I still don't think I can fucking pull that off any day of the fucking week. I'm sorry. Even then, I would not be able to fucking pull that off. That was fuck. That's fucking shocking, dog. That's fucking shocking. Uh, a lot of money, and I'm now a millionaire for the time being. Uh, Jesus. I did not think I would pull that off. Um, one hater, you're a fucking cunt. 
Uh, another tweet. Jesus. Is my next fight. Michael Chiesa. Okay, clearly we're not going to have a rematch. We're, there's not going to be a rematch between me and Khabib Nurmagomedov. So, you, if anyone, it, I was hoping for a rematch so I can knock about it, knock him out some more. <laughs> to be fair, but it's not going to happen. So, Michael Chiesa. Let's, actually, let's have a look at the rankings. How has Khabib lost? He's fucking lost four times now. Fuck. Jesus, fam. Okay, I thought he would have fucking lost one more time. Jesus. Right, let's get to training camp then. Okay, that is now done. Alright, everything is up to scratch. 97 feet peak thickness and high fight height. Um, yeah, Michael Chiesa and Toyota Center once again for UFC 292. Coming in with the belt and 22 and 0. Um, may not be the last time that I will win. But you never know. A win here will guarantee me a light, no, welterweight championship match with Tyron Woodley. And that is a memorable knockout as becoming the first ever man to defeat Khabib no Alright, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the... Um... And now Ort I mean, it won't be so much an interesting event to me. Nope. What a combination. Just answered your question, mate. Oh. Oh, there's that kick. Saw that. This could be it right here. Knee to the body. Oh, shishi. Yes, it gets back. Oh, fucking. Nah, 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 nah. We're getting up for this. Get up. Get the fuck up. To be tried it. Not gonna work. Oh, still in back fist, and that is out already. Jesus. Then again, lasted longer than Conor McGregor himself. But you know what? In case, what's the truth? That was a very quick episode. Uh, <laughs> for two fights, ladies and gentlemen. For two fights. But you know what? It is how it is. But I'm not going to continue on here because we've got that big fight with Tyron Woodley now for the welterweight championship. So I can be the next man to become a, 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 to, a simultaneous champion with the lightweight championship and the um, <sighs> welterweight championship. Now, I've already completed my contract goals. And that was very nice indeed. And still is the obvious option. Boom. I might do a live stream for it, to be fair. Okay, now we have now became 23 and 0, and Khabib is winning back again. Um, but <laughs> let's be honest, he ain't the same since I beat you, because he's already got four losses. 
to be honest, so let's... So, we obviously know who the next fighter will be. Oh, shut up, Tyrone. We have that rivalry match with Tyron Woodley. Um, fight hype is automatically set to high because it's a showdown. 23-0 uh, and o against a 23-3-1. in three in one. Very interesting. He has more experience by four fights. And he is the elder. But my stats is basically perfect to beat him uh, but you never know what goes on so right now when once everything is sorted uh, I will be thinking about doing a live stream for tomorrow yes we will I might do a live stream for it but we got to see how it goes with this thing so you know what thank you for watching uh this is raw rinse and official now just to point out all my levels level caps uh fluid d is five uh question presence five headhunter is level three guard specialist is three and taekwondo is five uh, no, I do not. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Never mind. <laughs> but, anyways, thank you for watching. This is Raw Rinse and Official, and I will chat to you all later.